This is all you need right here. I mean, I change it to any setting. So what I want to do is try out all different kinds of settings. What was that? Thirty-seven fifty. Um. Well, let's see about the difficulty thing. Like, oh crap! Can you even change it? How do you change it? Let's see. I'll hold this down. Da 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 da. 
All right, so I do, first of all, we can do, we can do black and white Space Invaders. But hang on, I'm not ready, I'm not ready for that yet. All right, difficult, left difficulty B, we're gonna put on B. Oh, wouldn't this, no, that would be easier. I was doing it on harder, wait, no, the dude, what is he saying? He was, he says, he's, Louis said on easy like a bitch. No, though. I, that it that obviously is on hard. This is easy, so I did have it on the harder setting. Actually, so you can have a thin one, or you can have a fat one. Um. All right. So I'll keep it where it's at, I guess. I think he's talking about difficulty and. Oh, that. I see. Well, who cares about that? We're playing uh, Space Invaders. <laughs> Much more important. different um, settings on this, but then I'm just going to want to just play it like normally. Let me, let me just, I'll just do this, I'll, let me finish this round out. I'll do this round and then I want to go through settings. I didn't even really give an introduction to this stream at all. I've now given up also on the introductions. Um, so what I want to do is I want to play all the different modes. This has this has like a billion different modes. Let's do them all. Well, some of some of the modes are going to be like multiplayer only related. So I don't know about those, but. I want to go. I want to like do a round on each setting and see what it's like. I've always wanted to do that. Some of them are gonna be invisible, which is stupid, <laughs> but I'm gonna try it anyway. What if I become the all-time master at invisible space invaders? Anybody on Twitch do invisible space invaders? What's going on with this website? Why even have a website where you can do like streams of video games if nobody's playing invisible space invaders? You know? What is, what is even the point? As far as I'm concerned, I can just delete it. Just delete, delete all these. Delete all these websites. No invisible space invaders competition. People get together for like what Tetris competitions and Street Fighter competitions. Where's the space invader convention? I want a convention that's specific, specifically for space invaders. Where is it? It's right here. Is where it is. Where's the Jungle Hunt convention? They got like an anime convention, right? And they got Star Trek conventions. Well, okay, where's the Jungle Hunt convention then? I don't understand. Oh, you fuck. Was that worse? That was worse. All right, let's try the game select. So now we're gonna go number two. This is two now. We're going to do number two. Hang on, before I get to that, let me uh, jump through. Uh... Hey, Mike, big cock. What, me? Hey, Mike, you got a big cock. 
<laughs> Thanks again, Burnout Doug, for the subs. You get the subs to Katie Kangaroo, Persona NY, General HQ, Diva Lost Doyers, and In Lug In Luga. I don't know how to say your name, but you gotta get a sub. And put enough stats in my firing. All right, this is the second. This is the second game mode. Let's try this. Oh, they're moving. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's gonna make me nauseous. I don't like that. That's all right, we're gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna put up with that. All right, game, this is game mode two. I forget how many there are. There's a lot. Hopefully we can do them all today. We did a 20, 29 hour Space Invaders Atari stream. Man, these things moving back and forth sucks. <laughs> I hate it. That was great when they disappeared. That was my favorite part. Come on, come on, get it! Every variation will be completed today. Sounds like a train. Not made this mode, I hate it so much. I don't like those things going back and forth. It makes me makes me anxious. I don't like it. This whole game makes me anxious, actually. All the aliens coming down. It's like the worst the worst game for anxiety in the world. There you go. Seven my high so far, so. No! 37, I can beat it right now. No! Oh, it's about to 
beat it. I didn't. 3750. I just failed that. All right. Game select mode three. See the three there? This is mode three now. Let's see what this is. Can we tell the difference? What's it going to be? Uh, oh, the bullets move around. You see that? They're, they're going all, they're wobbly. Wobbly bullets is mode three. Well, that's crazy. Oh, it's getting a little wild here. Um, you know what the problem with that mode is? The bullets are all wobbly. Yeah, that's crazy shit. Yo, like, I, I wonder if somebody has a list of all the high scores for every mode. Somebody go find that somewhere. Somewhere that exists on the internet. Shit. Oh. Oh. No! I want to do that again. Atari 2600 Space Invaders modes. High scores. So, like, that. So this is the third one. This is the third variant. Like, what's the high score in the world on the third variant? We need the list. Go find it. You guys got a job now. I'm putting you to work. <laughs> it doesn't look like you stream Metal Gear on the NES. Why would I do that when I could play Space Invaders on Atari 2600? What are you talking about? What are you crazy? <laughs> what are you insane? Play good games here, man. I don't want to hear this nonsense. Only good games on this channel. As you know, only the best of the best. I tried to look. The bullets cheat, they really do. So, which I've said many times. Bom, 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 bom. I'd like to try Kid Nicky, though. I'm gonna try to beat that one. Again, this is mode three. I gotta do better than that. Oh, I'm supposed to wait. Wait a second. I'm supposed to read the chat in between rounds. Let me do that first. This, I'm just, I'll just let it go. Did I get the new Atari wireless joystick? New Atari wireless joystick. Uh. Well, I don't like controllers that are wireless. <laughs> if it doesn't have a wire, I don't want to use it. But first of all, better have a wire. I like my wires. I got wires everywhere. So no. 
And the other thing is, let's say, let's say that I love the wireless controllers. Why would I need it if I've already got a control? I already have a controller for the Atari. It's called a Genesis controller, and it's plugged in. I'm good to go. You know what I? You know what I like about wires? My favorite part. I like how they're just like all over the place, and that you could trip over them. I like that somebody else could trip over them too. Like I like that. I like the thought of like my wires could be like, like going going across the table or something like that, going across the floor, and then I like left them out, and then who knows somebody's over here, you know, just smashes their face into the floor, and then I come back like later, and there's like there's like blood on the ground, and then I can have a good laugh because they tripped over my GameCube controller. I love wires. That's the best. No, but like in seriousness, I don't know anything about there's some new Atari wireless controller. I don't know. I don't keep up with any of that. There's all kinds of new games and like stuff coming out all the time. Um, you guys have to tell me about that. So I don't actively look out, look up like gaming news or anything. Like I don't, I don't see, I don't see any need to do that because there's already so many old games for me to play. Why do I need to know what new game comes out ever? I'll, I'll be dead before I can play all the retro games that I want to play. So there's no need for me to ever look up anything about some new thing coming out. I won't live long enough to play all the retro games that I want to play. Like, that serious. I, and that, if I live until like, I'm 120 years old, I'll still be working my way through, like, this freaking Super Nintendo games. So, like... about why do I need to know about what's coming out for like anything new? What does that matter? I didn't like it. Yo, I didn't beat uh, Cool Spot on Super Nintendo yet on stream. So what does it matter to me? Shit. Last chance. Damn, man. When they get fast like that, that last guy. Shit, it's Space Invaders. I know, man. Isn't it crazy? We're going to do Mode 3 again. I'm doing Mode 3. I, I want at least 3,000. How about that? I need to have, like, a, a, a base to move on to. I just realized to move on to the next round. So let's at least get 2,000 points. At least, let's, I had 1,400. 2,000 points at least to move on, or better. At least... better, but I'm not used to the, all these wobbly bullets, man. I'm playing in. Chode. 
chode mode. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that chode on the bottom there. <laughs> I played chode mode. And that's, I should make that the title of the video. 112 Space Invaders, 112 variations, chode mode only. Mike would say live. All my fucking videos are demonetized for fucking cursing anyway. Might as well call it chode mode. You, you can like leave donations apparently now on uh, YouTube comments. So there's a guy, he, there's, a, there's one guy who feels bad for me. He's like, he's like, yo, yo, all your videos are demonetized, huh? So he leaves me like a dollar or whatever, a couple dollars. He's like, I'm sorry, man. This sucks, man. I'm watching, I'm watching you play Jungle Hunt, man, and this is, this is just, this is, this is pretty bullshit, man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, who's watching this on later on YouTube? He's like, the world is injustice. Even if it, the thing is, even if the video was monetized, it would make like a dollar anyway, so it doesn't really like matter anyway. They don't make, they don't make anything anyway. <laughs> like the, even if it is monetized, <laughs> so it doesn't matter either way. Well, I got 2007. That's fine. I'm gonna go into the next one. We're gonna do mode four. But hold up, let me catch up with you. Let's catch up. All right. So also, I want to read. So this is what we're doing here. Check it out. Here's the point. The box cover is the point of the stream today. Space Invaders video computer system game program. They really knew what they were doing back in the day, didn't they? It's like when they did a uh, game pack, and nobody calls it game pack. A video com computer system game program, 112 video games. There's not really 112 video games. They shouldn't have written that like that. It's it should say 112 modes. That's like kind of that's like false advertising. One video game, 112 modes. Moving shields, zigzagging, laser bombs, fast laser, invisible. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good time. What is monetized? It means if your videos uh, ha like have an ad play on them, but a lot of them don't. If like so, advertisers don't like. Um, like cursing, bodily fluids, gore, anything good. They don't like anything good. Um, <laughs> uh, so um, the, all that's, that's pretty much all my streams are, just all gore and bodily fluids. Uh, so, yeah, so most, and just like actually the screen looks like bodily fluids right there. But, yeah, so they become demonetized is what happens. Like I said, it doesn't matter anyway. They don't make anything anyway, even if they are. <laughs> Advertisers, uh, they're rich, but we love them. We love money and no other reason. Oh, that's right. That's how I feel too. I love I love all of the advertisers, and I love how rich they are, and I love their money. <laughs> this game looks like the Seven Eleven had a bad bathroom. <laughs> all right, so this is mode four. Whoa, whoa. This is video game four. Excuse me, according to the box cover there. This is the fourth video game. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, come on. Also sounds like farting. 
That's what I really like about Space Invaders. Actually, I really hate these ones where the barriers go back and forth. No, I don't have one more. What do you get? Like two lives? God damn it, I'm gonna do it again. Even though I don't like this mode. We must be thorough about this. You son of a bitch. How many people do you think sampled this game for like sound effects for some some shitty band? <laughs> some shitty band. 
to like all of them. 29, all right, now I can get out of that fucking mode. I don't like that mode. So that was number four. Now we're on five. A lot. <laughs> The timing on the saucer, it's so hard to hit that. You found the record for nine, for mode nine, it's 10,765. There isn't just a list of records for 2,600 modes you found yet. Dude, I appreciate that you're actually looking. So I'm on mode five, well, if that's the case, we'll have to, well, here, let's do mode nine then, because at least he's got one. So is it 10,765 on this? All right. Dude, I'm not gonna get that, but is this the invisible one, by the way? This is gonna be the invisible one. Oh, they blink. Somebody, somebody got 10,000 the, the, in the world. At least we know one of them. Well, so, okay, so they're not invisible all the time. This is uh, this is horrendous. I, I hate this. I hate this mode too. Some maniac got ten thousand in this, huh? That's like super hard to do, even in like you know normal. Just get lucky, like, dude. What a nightmare. Get right. Forget that. I hate that. Yeah, I want to go back to. I want to go back to five. Wait, that's what I was on, right? Five. Dude, that's an. That's some. That dude's like a lunatic. He got ten thousand on that. <laughs> Is there a video of that? I want. I, like, I sit and watch a video, like a YouTube video, of somebody doing that. Where is this? Here, there it is. All right, I was doing it, I was on five. Let's go back to this. Oh, oh my God. Wait, reset. All right, so if this is fast bullets. See them. I, I'm not a fan of when I can't see anything. I'd rather do this than do the invisible thing. I don't like that. I don't like the barriers moving. I don't like the invisible. Oh my god, this is so hard. Oh my god! You can't even get out of the way in time. Dude. Crazy. All right, let's, what's six? Man, more, let's just look through them. So six is that, seven. Is seven fast and crazy bullets? It's fast crazy bullets. Dude, that's nuts. Eight is fast crazy bullets and the barriers move. <laughs> Nine is the Inviso thing. 10 is, 10 is Inviso, and the barriers are moving around. Blockades, whatever you want to call them. 11, what's this, this is 11, right? Oh, and the bullets are all wobbly. <laughs> 12 barriers, okay, 12 barriers moving, invisible and wobbly bullets. 13, Invisible fast bullets. Wait, let's see. Can I hit anything? Okay, invisible fast bullets. 14. Invi what is this? Invisible fast bullets and barrier moving. 
This is... Barrier stay still wobbly bullets. <laughs> All right, this one, 16 is barriers moving fast bullets in Vizzo. That's eight, 18. All right, is there, so what's the difference with this? See, I wonder if this one's like a multi, this is a multiplayer one, right? Because this is just barriers moving. This is just normal, and the only difference is barriers moving. I have a feeling that some of these are only different. This is like two, this is like maybe with two players or something? I don't know. See, I don't know what the difference with that one is. Here, 20. See, I knew some of them were gonna be like this. So what if I could like keep going? So, yeah, 25. Let's see what 25 is. Twenty-five is you, it, it's impossible to hit anything. Twenty-five is your bullets don't work. Dude, screw this invisible invisible shit. All right, let's let's go like real far. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, now this is the two-player shit. Oh, I really need to do this stream with another person. Actually, all right, I'm gonna end the stream. I'll come back another day when I have another person with me. <laughs> Here, wait. 50, so these are all two player, two player. Does anything go back to one player? So really, I can only do actually. Oh, is the second player invisible on that? Wait, what? What was it, 112? Yeah, see it where it says one? So actually, wait, so it only goes. Wait, was it, what was it, 17? There's only like 17 different modes, actually. Or 17 or 18 that are all one player. Everything else is all two player variations. I didn't realize that. Wait. Oh, God, I gotta just go through so, so many. Oh my God. All right, let's see what the last one was for sure. 12, 13 is, 14 is, 15 is. 16 is. Oh, it's 16. It's only 16. There's only 16 modes for one player. Okay. Well, there we go. The, I, now that I have that answer, so I'll just do the 16 modes. And I'm not, I'm not going to do 112. I'm going to do 16 because I'm only one person. All right. Well, that's fine. That makes this easier. There, I got that answer. All right. We're only doing 16 modes then. 112 video games. All right, uh, so where was I? I had done? I did five, right? What was it? Did I do six? Let's do six again. So I'm just gonna mess around with the 16 mode, basically. hard to do. You know what's gonna inevitably happen? I'm gonna be like, screw all these modes, I just wanna play the regular. I mean, really. Maybe, this is how you get good, though. This is how you get a high score in the regular mode. You play this, because it's like 10 times harder, and then, you, then after a while, you jump back to regular, and it probably seems easy. I say that that's what all these modes are actually there for. It's all training for the real game. And Space Invader training. Come on. Fucking shit. I'm gonna get, this is mode six, I'm gonna get 
2,000 points at least. Playing my favorite game on Atari on hard mode. Yes, Danny, little robot, I am. This is hard mode. This is chode, we call it chode mode. So mode, mode 16 then, that's gonna be New Jersey style chode mode. Chode. God! 2000, can't even get 200. Are you kidding me? 700. Seven. What's, what's seven? Oh, yeah. The moving. The wobbly. Wobbly. This is a nightmare. Hard to get that. No, Fucking 800, that's it. Fuck you. Next, so what? Oh, nine is the friggin' invisible. God damn it. <laughs> Can I even clear one screen invisible? Let, let's just try to clear this one screen. How about that? Baby steps here. Come on. 
I can't fucking see him. Chat says, oh my god, fuck this. No, it's great. Shut up. You don't even know anything about video games. It's great. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking do it invisible, alright? It's the way it's meant to be. You're like, oh, Dark Souls is hard, Dark Souls. Yeah, Dark Souls is hard. You know, it's hard, this. Fucking Space Invaders, invisible. How about, let's make everything invisible. How about pa invisible Pac-Man? Let's do that, too. All, everything's invisible. The whole fucking screen is invisible. You don't even see anything. You don't see, you don't even see Pac, you don't see Pac-Man. You don't see the ghost, you don't see the dots. You see nothing. <laughs> That'd be the fucking game. Talk about, we're talk about hard games. at the end 1860 on invisible i'll take it that was all right so wait all right next so now we're on 10 <laughs> how's it going mike D don't talk to me <laughs> you don't want to talk to me when i'm playing invisible space invaders man Uncultured swine that didn't play video games before Dark Souls came out. <laughs> Uncultured swine, my chat says. You can't play Space Invaders? There aren't even stats. What about the fucking, uh... What about the, there's modes, there's, there's variants. All right, this is 10. 
This is the same. This is Inviso, but now the barriers move, so I can't even hide behind the barriers, really, because the, they're moving. So they're really just an inconvenience. I'll see if I can get a thousand. I'll see if I can clear the first screen of it. How about that? Hey! It gets like that to this last one, and it's like impossible. Oh, fuck off! I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Try this again. Why wouldn't I want to do this again? Oh, I was too fat. take that. I will take that though. 2890 on invisible. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was good.
Uh, I'm happy with that. All right, now we can go to mode 11. Thank you, Cylinder 6. Thank you. What's up, Axebox? Good run. Thank you, Retro Junkie. All right, we're on mode 11 here. Okay, now we have invisible zigzag bullets. That's gonna be just lovely. even Which one's this 11 or something something to see something there now all right though all right man i'll tell you what when you get that last guy though that is fucking exciting as hell all right 13 oh god fast bullet in this oh god help me you like how i haven't hit anything here let me i'm gonna reset this holy crap can I get anywhere on this? Fuck 
fucking can't do shit. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Ridiculous. All right, 14. <sighs> Wobbly bullets, super speed, space invader in Bizzo. Is this like the craziest one? Fucking hell. No, it's gonna be like super speed wobbly bullets in Bizzo moving barrier. Dude, give me a break. Or right, what's 15? Invisible, Invisible, Wobbly, and the last one is, this is the last of them. Yeah, th this is the craziest one. Invisi invisible Space Invaders, Moving Barriers, Wobbly Bullets, Super Speed. It's all the things together. All right, this, so this is the one we're doing then. All right, I gotta clear this one. This is just like, this is basically the ultimate BS is what this is. Fucking give me a. Alright. Jeez! It's going in super speed! Really helping me. It's almost like just like just do this mode. Cut to the chase. This is this is the this is the end. This is basically your end end game space invader business. This is this right here. It's like you can't <sighs> And that's it and dude, I, I want to clear this first screen if I can Can't even fucking hit anything. This is bullshit. I gotta fucking do this. Dude! How can you do it? Somebody can do this? You move so slow with it, it's just like... The other thing about it, you, you just move so slow. Alright. Damn you! I have another life. Please hit something so I can see. Fucking gotta be kidding me.
You know, people ask that desert island question. What video game would you bring with you on a desert island? This is what you have to bring with you, because this is the one that would take you your entire life to get anywhere. Fuck you! <laughs> Just look at a fucking insane person on a desert island with a fucking CRT and invisible space invaders just resetting continually. <laughs> That's what this would be. That's what I'm gonna do. Dude, this is a fucking... How did I even... Gonna need, gonna need to see something. There couldn't even be like a lightning flash here and there or something, like nothing. See, so like, fucking see something. You have to just continually be hitting them. You, like, if you ever miss one, it's like practically over. Cause then you can't, like, know where they are. You just get that momentary, like, sort of flash to know. right? enough. Your, your hitbox is ridiculous. How, how did I get 500 points in this? And then I don't even hit anything. You like this? All these shots are just no space invaders anywhere, huh? Sense. <sighs> the fucking bullets. 
results are insane. This is insane. No. No. <laughs> Holy shit. You gotta be kidding me. The fuck? Just give me the fucking regular game. Or end up hating Space Invaders for the rest of my life. Well, that's what the variants are like. You might as well, like, forget about it. 112 game in my ass. You invite, you, you invite your friend over, you know? Who likes old like arcade games or something? Oh, you want to come over? There's a hundred. I got 112 games. Oh, what what 112 games do you have? Space Invaders. Okay, what are the other games? I just said. What? Space Invaders. Okay, well, you said there's 112. Yes, yeah, Space Invaders. Did you did you read the box? Look at the box. That's what the box says. No, no, trust me, dude. Check it out. And then you put on, then you put on Invisible Space Invaders, where the barriers are moving left and right, the bullets are wobbly, and they're going a thousand miles per hour. And then you're doing a two-player with your friends, and they're like, uh, hey, I gotta, I gotta tell you something. Yeah, what's that? I don't want to hang out with you anymore. Oh, why is that? Because the thing you chose to do was to play Invisible Space Invaders on super speed. Oh, okay. Bye. See you later. And then you know what the good news is? Then they leave. And then you can just get to play it by yourself. When they, when they leave, you just continue on, on your own. They just don't understand what quality gaming is. Welcome to the home. This is Mad Baby Gaming, the Mike Matei Live. Live from the home. Live from Shady Pines. This is back when our video game systems were made of wood. Remember wood? Chopped down a tree. Chop down the tree outside your house, and then you're like, you know what I'm gonna do with that fucking tree? Make a video game system. How are you gonna get the electricity to go through a, a fucking plank of wood? Don't you worry about it. It's gonna happen. All right. So what's that? Right, Three thousand seven fifty is what I have in that so far. See, what you don't want to do is let the space invader get down to the bottom of the screen. That ends your entire game. That's the bad news. You don't want that. That's the end of the alien invasion when they when they land. You don't want them to land because their ship. I don't know. Something bad happens when their ship touches the ground. The whole planet is done for. So you got to blow them out of the sky before they touch the ground. Because then they sink their uh, alien tentacles into the into the earth. Yeah, you're not getting your tentacles in my ass. I could do this forever. You'd think that I'd run out of commentary at some point, right? Oh no. Oh no. No 
know where that UFO came from? Grimace's asshole. This is butt plug, guys. That's Grimace's butt plug. That's what he likes to do. That's the truth. Luxury this is to be able to see the space invaders. It's like I feel like I won the lottery or something. It's like, oh my god, I can see the I can see the space invaders. Holy crap. This is my lucky day. That's cheat mode when you play when you play video games when you can see the screen. Yo, if you're playing Super Mario Brothers and you can see Mario on the screen, you're cheating. The correct way to play Mario Brothers is you just turn off the television so that you don't see anything. You can only see your own reflection in the glass on the screen. And then you stare into your own eyes. And if you can beat the game that way, then you're a master. I think one time on a stream, like many years ago, it might have been some video I was talking about. Uh, something about like what, I forget exactly, what the color of carpet tastes like. <laughs> So if you have like, if you have an orange carpet, or if you have a, a brown carpet, shit. Oh come on, I, I I gotta worry about these guys on the bottom. So okay, you got like a red carpet. What's what's that? It's all the same carpet, but if the carpet's red, then the carpet tastes like cherry, right? If the or if if it's an orange carpet, then it tastes like an orange. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I like that reply. Somebody just, their reply is car carpet. Carpet. Thanks for the reply. Very much appreciated. Thanks. You like red carpet? I bet you do. There's no pause, so I'm, I'm taking this chance to read the chat. Into your own eyes and beat. You meant that you wanted to say off at the end of that. So you turn off, wait, here you go. So you, you t so I got a PBM, I turned it off. So now I can see myself. Okay, here we go. I'm looking at myself in the, so you stare at yourself in the eyes and then you beat off. <laughs> that's what you do. That's the correct way to play video games. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's see if I can beat my high score. If not, I'll just stare at myself in the reflection. <laughs> oh my god. Do you see now why Atari 2600 is the best system ever? If, if, I, if it hasn't been explained to you over the last 20 minutes, then you'll never understand. You can turn, you can turn the TV off and stare into your own eyes. Only on Atari. Have you played Atari today? I didn't think so. I need a Sega Genesis. I need arcade games. Um, 
There's a lot of things that I made. I made a Game Boy. Do you think real aliens probe for real, like, deep? Uh... Oh, yeah! Yeah, they, they take you and then they, uh... They, so they have all kinds of things, like tentacles, all, all sorts of different, like, uh, sort of, like, medical devices that are hard to, hard to describe because we don't have them, like, in our hospitals or anything like that. It's just, like, a totally different type of technology. Um, yeah. They have so many things. Well, and all it is, to, to be honest with you, all it is is they just they want to put things in your ass. It's that's all. It's nothing more malevolent than that. Sometimes they might land their craft and like destroy the planet too. But other than that, it's mostly just the things on the ass. Well, let me tell you something from experience. You know how you take care of aliens, guys. If you got a fat chode, you'll be able, you'll be just fine. So you, you squirt out the tip of your fat chode, like I'm doing here. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. It's not complicated. So if you're getting a little tired of these aliens coming along, sticking things in your ass, just remember, just keep squeezing it. You learn, remember that too, you learn that, you learn that here. So one day when you're in that situation and you're, sque you're squeezing it and then the aliens back off, you remember where you heard that from. I may very well have just saved your life and your asshole, too. Fucking shit. Dude, it always fucking does that. They get, it's like I get one row. That's what's happening. I have to get that fucking bottom row out. I keep, for, like, forgetting. Ugh. I'll do this. Hang on. What are you guys talking about? It's like Lunar Lander. Give up your anus to aliens and they won't destroy planet. There you go. Do aliens probe their own ass too? Um, I see. I've watched a lot of Star Trek and a lot of like older science fiction, like Outer Limits and Twilight Zone and all that stuff, and played all kinds of video games that have aliens in them. And the thing I've learned from all that is absolutely, that is absolutely true. But what if you stick it in the alien's ass? Well, we have to try and find out. <laughs> you got a job at GameStop, the store that Mike always shops at? Yeah, I'm always there every day. Giving them my phone number. I'm, I'm always, I always go in there every day asking for my uh, subscription. You know what? That's what you, that's what you do. They're always trying to sell you the Game Informer magazine or some kind of magazine, right? So here's what you do: you go in and you're like, "Hi, I would like to have Game and I would, I want the Game Informer actually." And they're gonna be like, "What?" You know, <laughs> be like, be like yeah, I, "I really would like to have the Game Informer. I want to give you my phone number and." I would also let, I want to give you my phone number and I also would like to order Game Informer. And they're like, okay. So you do it. You give them all the things they want. But then every, because the magazine comes out, what? It would be like monthly, right? Or bi-monthly. Then every single day you come in and you say, is the magazine in yet? And they'll be like, oh, uh, yeah, you, you have a subscription? Yeah, I have a subscription. When does the magazine come? 
Uh, well, it should be there. It, uh, it comes at the end of the month. All right. And then the next day. Now it's Wednesday. You come in. This is a magazine. This is a magazine here. I really want to read that Game Informer magazine. I love that Game Informer. Is it in yet? They're like, oh, at the end of the month, man. Now it's Thursday. You drive your car down the road. You go in. You park your car. You go in. I'm waiting on that Game Informer magazine. I know that you said that it's going to come at the end of the month. Boy, boy. I'm just really anxious for it. really want to read it. Love that Game Informer. I just keep doing it every single day. Every day. That's what I'm going to do. Where's my Game Informer magazine? You wanted to fucking sell it to me so bad. Where is it? I want to read it. I want to read every fucking page of it. Is there an article about the different variant modes in Space Invaders in the magazine? Oh, uh, no, there's nothing like that. It's only about Fortnite skins. Okay, so why is it only about Fortnite skins? Well, that's what sells. Oh, really? So if Fortnite skins are what sell the magazine, you talking about Fortnite, then how come you have to hawk the magazine and pawn the magazine on me when I come in here? Maybe people don't want to read about the Fortnite skins if you can't fucking sell the magazine. Maybe if the articles were about the game variants and Space Invaders, I'd be in here buying the fucking thing. Game Informer. Is that even the magazine? I don't even know if that's the magazine. Is it even Game It is Game Informer, right? Does that even exist anymore? I don't, oh, by the way, like, do magazines it barely even exist anymore? I mean, I go to, like, I'll be at, like, Barnes & Noble, and, yeah, they'll have uh, a whole thing of magazines. But, like, I don't, I don't ever see magazines. The only place, I get, when I get a haircut, I see, like, there's a table that's got a couple magazines on it. That's the only time. Like, no, I don't see anybody reading, like, magazines anymore. It's not like it's the 90s. Magazines. Like, magazines and newspapers, huh? Listen, I'm, I'm a fan of magazines and newspapers. I like uh, Star Trek Communicator. I like Nintendo Power. I'm a fan of magazines. But I don't ever, ever see anybody looking at them, ever. People are always just looking at their phones. So this, they're still trying to sell me this goddamn magazine? I'm gonna go in there. It's gonna be 2020... Nine, and I'm gonna go into a fucking game. <laughs> gonna go into a GameStop, and they're gonna be still trying to get my fucking phone number or something amazing. Like, how long is this gonna go on for? Not like I go in there anymore, but like, I'm sure some people do, and they're still gonna be asking about this goddamn phone number. No, what else they ask? They ask for other shit too. It's the the magazine they want to sell you. The phone number they want from you. They probably want your email address. The fuck else they want from you? They, like... They want me to clean their fucking living room, too? Like... The fuck else they want from me? Uh, uh, okay, you ordered Game Informer. Can you come over and clean my living room, too? Okay, yeah. Anything that you say, GameStop guy, I'm gonna come over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean out your fucking fridge for you too. Magazines are useful in the battlefield to distract the so enemy soldiers. We just like lay them out on like on the on the field, and then they're like, "Ooh, that's an issue of." Uh, Game Pro right there from 1995. And they, they go to like grab it. It's got like, I don't know, Batman Returns on it or something. And then it's, <laughs> it's a distraction method. Some of these chats said, oh, they'll probably be out of business in two or three years, though. 
That's what you guys were telling me. In, like, I started streaming in like 2015. They were telling me that. Oh, they'll be out of business in a couple years. It's gonna be. It's gonna be 2030, and then I'm gonna be doing a stream of uh, Pac-Man on Atari 2600. And then somebody's gonna be like, yeah, they're oh, that, they're gonna be out of business in a couple years. Give it, a, give it another four or five years, there, Mike. They're gonna be, they're gonna be done. I don't know, man. They seem to be lasting. I don't think they're ever going out. You know how they stay in business? All those Game Informer magazines. People can't get enough of them. I know I can't. Space Invaders for the Atari 2600. This game has the word space in the title. Also, another interesting fact is there are actually invaders, which are these aliens coming down which is the second word in the title, the word invaders. Put them together and you have yourself space invaders. That's right. Bet you didn't know that. That's how they came up with that title. And in this world, all of the space invaders are yellow. The color of urine. Alright, I gotta get the bottom of this bottom. I gotta get over to that, because th this guy drops down and it's over. Alright. Gotta get on top, but not letting them get to the bottom. I gotta be on top of not letting them get to the bottom.
fucking come on. God damn it. Alright, well that was my best so far. 52, 55. 52, 55. 52, 55. Alright, stressful. It is. If you get to 10,000, I'll buy you a Coke. I would love to get to 10,000, man. That would be my dream in the world. Is that what I was doing? Plug it in, plug it in. I knew somewhere deep in my subconscious. 52, 55. <laughs> plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> See, you're on the same wavelength as me. I take the square. Finally, somebody who's right there in my brain. <laughs> It's a scary place to be, isn't it? It only goes up to nine 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 nine. Is it? Good score, five two five five. Thank you, retro junkie. I need to get forty two thousand. Oh four twenty six nine. God damn it. I, here I thought like maybe you like looked up a score or something. Somebody had done that for, for me before of uh, the high score or whatever. How about this though? How about an Atari 2600 high score with video footage instead of just like looking it up on Google and then it just says somebody in 1998 got this score. How about like actually like some like YouTube footage or something like who has the highest score in Space Invaders on Atari 2600 on YouTube so that it, there's actual video, you know, plug it in, plug it in. That's all I want to talk about now. Plug it in, plug it in. Yeah, but Zelda's dad. What about did he? Does he have a score for the like the first like when you first turn it on like mode one? Because you were talking about mode nine. Your previous high score was higher. Oh mine. Oh yeah, because I did do a stream like of this trying to get what was my old high score? Do you know it? Jar Jar. Well, let me know if you know. <laughs> Hieroglyphics. Is this for the NES? Oh, yeah, the NES. Yeah, sure. Yes, it is. This game is what our future looks like. This is how it's always been, though. This is, this is what it's been. This is what the '80s were like, man. Don't you remember the Space Invaders craze in the '80s? Same. It's the same. It's the same. Mike still st shops at GameStop. No, I don't. I, ha I haven't been there, and I don't know how long. I couldn't even tell you. Long, 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 long time. Decade. All right. Yeah. 
Jelly, what the fuck? What do you, what do you not understand here? You don't know about Planner All Fruit, man? Didn't you ever see the wonderful world of Planner All Fruit Jelly commercials? Let me tell you, you're missing out. Missing out. See, other people, people are like, oh, did you watch uh, all the episodes of The Mandalorian? I'm like, oh, no, I never saw that. And they're like, well, what do you watch? I'm like, oh, all the planner all through commercials. That's what I was watching. I had enough of those lightsabers. I want to hear about, I want to hear about, I want to hear about this man's jelly. She goes falling over. He, he's, he's just wildly inappropriate. inappropriate. Would you please pass the all fruit? Would you please pass the all fruit? And they, then they get around the table to him. And he's basically like one of the people in my chat. God damn it. That would happen fast. Would you please pass the jelly? And then they, then they like pass out. And then they do another commercial and it's the same thing. And it's great. So no, I haven't watched the uh, whole, uh, all these Marvel movies. I don't know, I saw some of them. I don't know, Captain America's running around throwing his shield around or whatever, and I fell asleep. But man, when I got those jelly commercials on, my eyeballs are glued to the screen. And 120, thanks for the sub. He's subbing for that jelly. Skeleton Warriors? Wait, what? What do I think about Skeleton Warriors cartoon? Uh, I know Skeleton Crew on Genesis, if that's any consolation. I don't know, I don't know Skeleton Warriors cartoon. I know Mummies Alive. I know Inhumanoids. Um... I know quite a few obscure cartoons. I don't know. Uh, I know Turbo Teen. I know Grape Ape. Um, Herculoids. I can do this all day. Skeleton Warriors? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I don't know that one. Yeah, Visionaries. I know. Vis I know Visionaries. Thundercats, Silverhawks, Tiger Sharks, or whatever they were trying to do with that one. That was a massive flop. Rankin Bass had a hard week that week. Swat cats. Samurai pizza cats. I got 
I, I got the cartoon for you. You want to go obscure cartoons? The Robonic Stooges. There you go. There's your cartoon. What the fuck? Come on, I was like rushing back over there. Come <laughs> goes down too fast. T S Lack Dog, thanks for some God. Not Robotic Stooges. No, it's not Robotic Stooges. It's the Robonic Stooges. I think I have 100 Game Player magazines. Do you have Instagram? Yes, I have Instagram. It's the same as, as, the, as Mike Matei Live or whatever on Instagram. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I don't actually know. Let me look. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah, Mike Matei Live on Instagram. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what my own things are called. <laughs> should be hard, easy to find. I mean, you made it here. You should be able to make it there. What about these magazines? I think I have that, dude, I, listen, I have so many old retro video game magazines, it's like, not, I have too many. If you're going to tell me that you're going to send them to me, don't, please don't. I, I got too many already. I, like, I got to get rid of them, the ones I have. You can buy mine, how about that? I mean, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not actually looking to sell any of them, but, like, I have so many old video game magazines, it's just too, it's just like, I like them though, like occasionally I'll do, you know, they'll be like a stream and I'll bring out a magazine or whatever. But there's just so many different kinds of magazines, the retro video game magazines. Like I got like, I got all those old uh, electronics gaming monthlies, I got like really into that. I love those electronic gaming monthlies. Obviously, Nintendo Power, like Atari Age, like, uh, was, like Sega Vision, all, all that stuff. Game, uh, Game Pro, video game and computer entertainment magazine, on and on and on, and a bunch of, of others too. There's like Turbo Graphics ones and all kinds of magazines, and it's just too much. There was I, it's, uh, I have like all these like, ones that were in. Uh, Europe, and it was like a Nintendo magazine, but like Nintendo magazine that they had in in like the UK. I had like those. Uh, now I have like a bunch of J uh, Japanese Nintendo powers, basically, or their version of it. So yeah, I have too many video game magazines. Unfortunately. They're really cool, but it's just like... Bump, bump, bump. Dark Ash, 79, thanks for the sub. It's like we had done that, um, shit, that video. It was, it was a video game magazine nerd video. Because I had so many damn magazines, and I'm like, all right, what, what can we do with like goddamn magazines that I have? make some use out of these magazines, like... Mm. Oh, come on! No! Ooh, that was almost the end. It's like such crap when, when that happens right at the beginning. Can you even get an extra life on this? I don't think you can. This is that I should be like resetting, not huh, if I like ever die, basically. It's, it's like, once again, it's this. Reset if you don't do well. How many games do I play that are like that? All of them. Come on. And dead. Dead, dead, dead. Right? Yep. God. Uh, thanks again, Dark Ash, for that sub. 
Your friend and I would go to the store with a notepad and copy the codes and cheat codes out of the back of Electronics Gaming Monthly for free. Here, you, you want me to get a magazine? Here, hang on a second. Let me grab a few magazines. I grabbed a couple random ones. Let's see. So we got. What do we got? We got. Electronics Gaming Monthly. What year is this? I have no idea. Uh, I didn't even say. But I got this here. So, it's like a Super C issue. Um, what's in here? Heavy Barrel. Hyper, hyper Load Runner. Dude, I, I did a th one of my things on my channel. I played like, I just was like, all right, there's all these Load Runner games that are always coming out. There's like a million Load Runner games. So I was just like, let me play like, a ton of them and then let me learn about load runner so like i play like 30 different load runner games and my determination by the end of it was i don't like load runner but this was hyper lo hyper load runner I, I just i don't like load runner i really don't Oh, whoa. Oh shit, I didn't know this was in here. Yo. Yo, this is cool. Hold up. Yo, this is like a Super Mario Brothers 3 survival guide. But an electronics gaming monthly one. I, I should show you this. So it's like, like a toad there. Can I make this any bigger? There. I wasn't really planning on showing magazines this stream. Oh, what is Adventure of Link? What is this Adventure of Link? Miyamoto, the man behind Mario. The Mario Brothers wouldn't be so super if they weren't for one man, Sujiro Miyamoto, the mind behind the Marios. Mario started with Nintendo, with Nintendo's package, with Mario's package, and later game design, producing classics like Super Mario Bros., Legend of Zelda, Adventure of Link, Dream Factory, Mario Brothers 2, and the recently released Super Mario Bros. 3. The design process begins with Miyamoto working by himself in a garage with only one other programmer on some days. He shares his concept and as a team, they hash out how to preserve the concept within the limits of the machine. When some consensus is reached, Miyamoto gives his 
final decision, throws his fist down and says, my way or the highway. It may come as no surprise to EGM, Electronics Gaming Monthly, readers that the programming team who designed Super Mario was the same one that developed Zelda. Another important aspect of gaming is that Miyamoto considers in, can, that Miyamoto considers important is game difficulty. He often designs his games from the back to the front and does the most difficult level working back to earlier levels of increasing difficulty. He says that if you were to use save states and rewind feature that may become available in the future that you are a fucking pussy and he will drop his nuts on your face and call you a bitch. When Miyamoto when asked about the future game ideas, Miyamoto reportedly said his next challenge was to design a game for grown ups. Well, that, that really didn't say much about Zelda there, but that was a little interesting tidbit they had there in the magazine. He's a fucking dick. What are you talking He made Mario. I don't want to hear that. Toad? What, you don't like Toad? Princess to Toadstool? Princess to Toadstool? <laughs> World One Castle. For the flute, get to the castle on world one it's all the things you'd imagine that it would say <laughs> go get the flute asshole <laughs> that's what it says Crys ooh crystal mines there's a hidden level select in color dreams crystal mines press start until it shows the player and level number then press A button, and it will raise the level up to 81. The B button lowers it. Oh, if you ever want some codes for Crystal Mines on NES, there you go, guys. Genesis Golden Axe, NES Afterburner, Rambo 3. Mm, blazing Lasers. There's many different codes in Blazing, Later. blazing Lasers. Here's one. Don't get spoiled. Oh, debug mode. Uh, that's not that. I, oh, Astyanax. Here we go. To start your Astyanax adventure off with amazing ability to walk through enemies and up and up their ass. Wait, what? To start your Astyanax adventure off with the amazing ability to walk through enemies and their shots, but not fall off ledges and other dangers. Press up, 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 down, left, right, up during the title screen. This will make you immune to the monstrous attacks throughout the game. So basically it's god mode. Oh, it's invincibility. Yeah, that's, I wouldn't use that. Shadow gate. Yo, this is a cool shadow gate ad. Check this out. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of these magazines. What are you talking about? Guys trying to buy all my magazines. I'm not never getting rid of any of them ever. <laughs> this shadow gate. I gotta throw all this trash in the garbage. <laughs> I throw it all in the goddamn garbage. Not really. Belios. Ghostbusters for Genesis. I suck at that game. Curse for Genesis. Horizontal shooter. What? There's a horizontal shooter on Genesis called Curse? Never heard of that. What? Bad News Baseball. Master Chew. Oh, Master Chew! From the folks at Color Dreams are back again with this odd name game. Manipulate your hero through several rounds of play. Dude, that, there's nothing to say about that game. That's why we had to put shit pickle into the fucking video. I like, I like, made that, and it was like there was just nothing to say about it. And I like, I'm like, here you go, James. Here's like the video, and he's like, all right, well, this is nothing. So I'm gonna put shit pickle in there so that there's something funny here. Because <laughs> yeah. it's just like there was nothing. 
It really was. There was just nothing to say about that game. There really isn't. I streamed it too. Double Dragon and Add. Ninja Gaiden. Ultimate Game Club. Yo, prices. Let's look at old prices. How about Alex Kid uh, on Gen? Well, new Genesis game. It depends if they're new or old. Dude, somebody circled the things in here. Turbo Graphic 16. So this dude wanted to get the Turbo Tap, Turbo Pad, Turbo Stick, CD-ROM, Turbo Booster, Cybercore. J. He wanted JJ and Jeff. Yeah, 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 he probably, dude, that JJ and Jeff game. He also wanted, he circled, isn't that funny? He, like, circled the games he wanted. Bloody Wolf, that one's all right. Double Dungeon, I think I've tried that. That's so funny. And then any NES games, so let's see. Batman, Batman was $49.99. Kid Cool was forty four ninety nine. Dude, Kid Cool, that was one of the nerd episodes I wrote. That game fucking sucks. That game should be free. They should pay you to play that game. Oh my god! Oh, I gotta show you this. I'm the master of that game. They're like, what, what game are you actually good at, Mike? Because we noticed that you suck at all these games. I'm like, uh, the Three Stooges on NES, the only fucking game that counts. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Tubin was $39.99. Yo, there's a different co cover for Batman. Look at this. They were going to have a different cover, I guess. Look at this. Can you see that? It's interesting to see like all these early like designs for the covers because everything else on here is like the real cover for the games. That's different. I never saw that before. Zexes! Yo, you fuckers. You like Zexes. I know you do. There's your big Zexes ad. Dude, this awesome Zexes. I played that. I think I did a wrote a video on that a long time ago or something. <sighs> heavy barrel. I don't like that heavy barrel game. I've tried it. It's like I, I always like play it. And I'm just like, ugh. Barai Fighter. I gotta I gotta do that one day. Yo, Boxel. You know Boxel? Like Game Boy. Pushing the boxes around. You remember that game? Uh, Commando, I play plenty of that. Super C. Ooh, Super C. What do they say about Super C? The eagerly anticipated sequel to the original Contra game has finally arrived. Super C continues the adventures of the dynamic duo that removed the enemy terrorists in the first game. This time, what, weren't they aliens? This time, our heroes must contend with much more than fanatical terrorist organization now alien forces have joined in yeah but the first game has aliens what are they fucking talking they didn't they didn't even fucking beat the fucking first game they didn't fucking get to the aliens lair at the end of the fucking con uh, at the end of contra dude this review is fucking idiotic they were saying that the second game has aliens and not the first game that's what they're fucking saying right here this, these people are fucking stupid. It's like these fucking people. It's like people on YouTube, they play. You ever notice that? You ever see these YouTube videos and that people do the play? You can tell they only play like one level of a game. And then they're like, uh, and then they're trying to give their opinion on it. They didn't actually fucking play the game. Let's just don't make the video then. Is it because, you know, some some game comes out and they, they have to be the first, they have to race they have to be the first to put the video out, so they play it for like five minutes and then they put out the video without having like an actual like thorough opinion or actually caring. Because what they care about is the monetized video and the attention, not really the content. 
That happens all the time. Super Mario 3 supplements. Oh, I'm reading this. <laughs> Yo, you can... I'm not making this up right now. It fucking says Super Mario Brothers 3 supplements. I'm going to fucking show it to you. Hold on. Look at this. Wait, where is it? Super Mario Brothers 3 supplements. I'm going to I'm going to read this to you right now. I have an important question for your magazine. Is it possible to get a bottle of those Super Mario Brothers 3 supplements that people have been taking. I have been playing the game and I found the first warp and I would like to know about other secrets in the game but I would also like to take the supplement Mario 3 pills. I hear they make your dick bigger. From Lane in, in Alabama. No problem. We, we will send that over to you. And also all the tips and tricks. Maybe you have a mustache on your... <laughs> your, your pubes can look like Mario's mustache if you take those supplements. Video games in the 1990s. Welcome to the biggest and best issue of Electronics Gaming Monthly ever. Beginning with this edition, we plan to not only provide you with the most up-to-date info on new games, tips, and developments from within the industry. Yeah, like all these Color Dreams games. Are video games a fad? Not hardly, considering the fact that more NES carts are expected than ever before, with several titles such as Ninja Gaiden, you should see how they spelt that. Super C and Metal Gear 2 likely to draw even more attention to the tried and true 8-bit eight eight bit workhorse. When you couple that continued interest with the rumors of a new handheld system, you mean the Game Boy? <laughs> it was like pre like Game Boy here? Like... Like, I just decided to sit here and read this entire issue. Yeah, they got all the Tengen games. This is kind of a cool ad. 19 ways to start the 90s with the bang. Look at that. They had that Roadrunner game. I used to rent that Roadrunner game all the time. It fucking sucks. What is even good on here? I don't even know if any of these are that great <laughs> bunch of crap bunch of crap from Tengen alright so that was that super C I got more I got more I have a I have a turbo force you got remember who remembers turbo force do you remember turbo force do you remember look at this the handheld this is awesome Ah. Turbo Express. Bonk. Air Zonk. I like this stuff. Coming soon. Superstar Soldier 2. Ghost Manor. Gate of Thunder. Yeah, there's a whole page on Gate of Thunder. This is the this is the type of magazine that I like. That's what I want. When I open a magazine up, it better have an article on Gate of Thunder. This is a good magazine. Dude, I love PC Engine and all this. Is this that Batman game? No, what is this? This is... Oh. Wise. It's wise. Or, as many like to call it, ease. Or as I like to call it, ease it into my ass. <laughs> Here comes Turbo Duo, the super game system. Yo, this thing is... That's what you want right there. If you like video games, you need one of those. That And that is not a joke. 
Cosmic Fantasy. I don't know if I know Cosmic Fantasy. All right. Well, Turbo Force is cool. Then we got we got Game Pro. We got Game Pro, and this has the Simpsons on it. Let's see. What Simpsons is it? It's. Uh, I don't know. Was this like they're gonna talk about the arcade game or there's a million Simpsons games? Let's see. Maniac Mansion, Solstice, Lolo Two. Oh, they got they got they have a mail section too. Should we read the mail? The mail is always the best part. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna read one. As a representative of the average game player, that's like me, I think the Game Genie is a great idea. I have lots of opportunities to rent current games before I buy them, which makes me a more informed shopper. But because I'm 24 and not one of these nine-year-old video game aces, I might only clear one or two levels of a rental game in a full night's play. I think the game, I think the genie would give us the ability to test the game waters more clearly before buying. Also, for those few unbeatable games that we all have, but don't like to admit, like Ninja Gaiden, it would give us the confidence to keep on going by giving us a practice mode on any game. So this dude's just like, hey, I suck and I want to cheat. So I want the game genie. At le you know what, though? I've got to give this guy credit. At least he admits it. He, st he starts it out by being like, I am an average game player. He's basically like, hey, I suck. I need <laughs> that's, that's the letter he decided to write in. Hey, I suck. Hey, Hey, I suck. Can I? I like that game genie you got there because I suck. That's this dude's letter. That's okay though. That's respectable actually because he is admit admitting it. Good. Good for him. Let's see what else. I like these letters they, these people send in. All right. Uh, what? Okay. First off, the game the game hasn't been made that's worth purchasing. If it isn't good for more than one complete playing, what? So like he has to be able to play play a game more than once. Take Final Fantasy for instance. When we rented it, we were entranced. What a super awesome etc cetera, etc cetera, game. We immediately searched for, found it, and then drove 100 miles to buy it. There was like a Nintendo Power thing where people were saying that too. They were like, we went to Canada and we couldn't find it. So then we flew to Italy to get like Chippendale Rescue Ranger. And then they didn't have it in Italy. So we flew to LA and took the next, uh, my parents took off their work for two years as we went all around the world looking for rescue rangers. Like, I don't believe any of the things these people are fucking saying. I would never rent a game and defeat it by using Game Genie. All right, now this guy is, this is, this guy is talking like me now. Okay, let's say this. I would never rent a game and defeat it using Game Genie. This would ruin the game's initial play value. Oh, what is this person's name? Stan Zask from Illinois. If you're out there, I love you. This guy, this guy knows. See, I have to go back to 1992 to get somebody who has a fucking brain. This is great. This would ruin the game's initial play value. I see the game genie as being used to breathe new life into old, often played games or games too difficult and frustrating to complete. It is my fondest wish to enter the secret game screens in Super Mario Bros and to make Mario jump over the flagpole. <laughs> I'm the one who did that! And then somebody copied me and made a video and copied me on game trailers, but that site doesn't exist anymore. <clears throat> um, I wanted to do this ever since 
I first played the game and heard rumors saying it could be done. I definitely believe the Game Genie will cause no harm to the video game market. I'm no expert. I mean, I like I like to mess around with the Game Genie. Like, I don't play it seriously, but I did do one stream where you just mess around with codes. And it's like, oh, look, Mario can fly and ridiculous stuff like that. But, like, in serious, like, I wouldn't use it to play a game. I definitely believe the Game Genie will cause no harm to the video game market. I'm no expert, but it seems that any product that will add variety, there you go, to video gaming is of great value. I agree with that. I will most certainly buy a Game Genie if it ever becomes available. Yeah, that's fine, too. I feel these letters are more, um, these people seem smarter than the people that were writing into Nintendo Power. I'm just saying, like, they, they seem like more, like, man, you read those Nintendo Power letters and they're like, uh, uh, I like Mega Man. Cause he's uh he's 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 blue, and then the Nintendo Power like editor has to respond to it, and they're like, "That's right, Brian. Mega Man is blue. We also like the color blue. Thanks for getting the magazine, Brian. Dragon Spirit. Thanks, Red Zero, for the sub. Neo Geo. Hold on, Neo Geo. Jackie Chan's action kung fu." Bunch of sports master system games. Oh boy! <laughs> Look at this alien brigade. <laughs> like, yeah! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Besides Diablo and that shmup game, have you already tested other games off stream with the stylus tablet? Uh, a couple other games, not too many, but yeah, it works for some stuff. Super Mario Land. They drew out the, the levels to Super Mario Land. Kind of cool. Not as interesting art as like Nintendo Power, but kind of neat. Uh, Clash of Demon Head, Robocop 2. What else, what else, what else? Robocop on Game Boy. Oh, great. How to play Sol... How to play Solar Jetman and live to tell about it. It's a giant ad. Holy crap, look at this. You have to see this. Look at that. Let's see what they say. The main man himself, Solar Jetman. Right, that's the character. Uh, this is the mothership, right? He doesn't want to talk to strangers? What? Your guide to buried treasure. The, this is the jet pod. Yeah, the egg thing you go around in. This is, is there any good advice here? Alien with an attitude. It just shows a picture of... This is the advice. It shows the alien. It says, alien with an attitude. This is not advice. How to play Solar Jetman. And then you show a picture of an alien, and it says, alien with an attitude. That's it? They had a comic in here, too. This was their, this was their comic. Sort of superhero -y. they didn't have a... Oh my god. Oh, it's gremlins. Okay. If you're still playing Sega... Or Nintendo, you're nothing but a weenie. But if you're playing the incredibly high-powered Neo Geo, you're a real hot dog. So, see what they're saying here? They're saying that if you play Nintendo... This is what you got here. But if you play Neo Geo, this is what you got here. <laughs> Wait a second. You see what this actually says? Wait. No, like dead serious. Look at what this says. 
Look, wait, I, you have to see this. Why, why dick around with limp, underpowered 16 bit systems when Neo Geo offers the hottest, most advanced video game system in the world? Why dick around? This isn't GamePro with the Simpsons on the cover. Who do you think is going to be buying this? You see, the, you see Bart Simpson on it? And this is the ad that's in here? Back then? I mean, today, that's one thing. But back in, like, the 90s? That's insane that they wrote that. Holy crap, what an ad. <laughs> Greatest magazine ever, the chat says. I can't believe that says that. Whoa, look at this ad. Whoa. This is cool as shit. This is just, okay, this is just an ad for the TurboGrafx-16, but this is like a cool-ass ad. Look at this. It's like all the game. It's like the, all the um, screenshots from the games just shooting out of the system. That's cool. That's how you do an ad. I, I approve of that. Good job, whoever made that. This magazine is awesome. Yeah, you got Godzilla, you got Godzilla playing Game Boy. What more do you want? Oh God! Is Brisby here? <laughs> here you go. That's a giant ad for a Wall Street kid. There you are. <laughs> and free T-shirt. We have created a special shirt for the first 5,000 Wall Street Kid players. They are incredibly cool. There was a Wall Street Kid t-shirt? Well, I should just end the stream on that. What? I want it. Wall Street Kid t-shirt. Only legends own that shirt. Dude, if you, ha if you have the Wall Street Kid t-shirt... You are the coolest person who ever lived. And then they have little reviews on all the games. There's a review on Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle on Game Boy. Mm, yeah, what's up, Doc? Well, everybody's favorite rabbit is out to save his sweetie, Honey Bunny, from Yosemite Sam, Dappy Duck, and Wily Coyote to rescue her. Bugs ha has to work his way through any levels of spooky rooms, creepy chambers, and creaking stairs. It's just like a little, these are just little blurbs on these games. Not really reviews. Oh, and you can get yourself the game handler. Anybody, anybody, anybody here ever use the game, game handler? So you just grab your, you just grab this uh, sort of, you know, <laughs> you, you can handle your games using that. Every, everybody had the game handler. You're in control. The quick shot. I have those. Hellraiser. Game Pro. Dick Tracy. Is this Dick Tracy on NES? This is Dick Tracy on NES ad. <laughs> Just looks like the comic, but it's an ad for the NES game. Was there a t-shirt for that, too? Okay, The Simpsons. Oh, it's Bart vs. Space Mutants. That is why they put them on the cover, just because of that. Because they knew it would sell. Oh, here you go. This is what you want. Boom. Turtles 2. What are they saying about Turtles 2? Let's see. They got pro tips. Pro tip. Pro tip. Dr. Stockman returns in moth form, toting an awesome gun. Try to stand on his shadow and then wait until he shoots and jump at him. Okay, that's that advice is fine. What other advice you got? Pro tip: beat Vincent Van Growl by dodging his charges and standing. The tiger that go in Turtles Two, the t the tiger that runs around on that stage is called Vincent Van Growl. Dude, I didn't know that the tiger was named that. Next time I play 
Turtles 2 on stream, somebody, uh, you need to remember that and say, hey, Mike, you're hitting Vincent Van Growl right now. It's just a tiger. Oh my god. Okay, Adventure Island 2. Oh, look how cool these. So if you want to play Pictionary, remember Pictionary? This is this is how you have to you can't just play Pictionary. Like I wouldn't be acceptable to play Pictionary. You have to you have to look like this. If you're gonna play Pictionary, you gotta look like these guys. Now they're cool. You can't you can't be a loser like me. Look at these people. They're they're allowed to play Pictionary. Little Nemo, Dream Master, there's a whole article on that. There's a lot in this magazine. Um The, oh, pff, the immortal. Ugh. The Jackie Chan game. Strider. Ooh, look at the CRT. Genesis, Genesis does Strider. Here you go. You should probably see that ad, too. Nice CRT. Nice classic Genesis ad. Genesis does it all. Golden Axe, Space Harrier, Super Hang-On, Strider, Altered Beast, Ghouls and Ghosts, Revenge of Shinobi, Rambo 3, Truxton, Truxton, Forgotten Worlds, Afterburner 2, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, Sword of Vermilion. Oh, and here comes all my favorites. Tommy Lasorda Baseball, World Championship Soccer, Arnold Palmer, Tournament Golf, Pat Riley's Basketball, Joe Montana Football. Ooh, boy, so great, all those. You think those ended up in, like, a thrift store for, like, two, two pennies? Thunder Force 2, Ghostbusters 2, Alex Kidd, Enchanted Castle, Mystic Defender, and Dynamite Duke, Zoom, Columns, Spider-Man, Genesis has everything. Genesis does it all, ladies and gentlemen. Genesis does it all. I don't want to hear anything bad said about the Genesis, or the Atari 2600 for that matter. You just get the hell out of here. Crazy, there's so much in here. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Scrapyard dog. Yo, this is like dip, what the hell is this? This is some kind of, what? Wait. So, this is Shinobi? Alien, Mario Brothers, Pac-Man, Ghostbusters, Jason Voorhees, Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghosts and Gobbles. Like I just look at, look at this. I don't even know what they're just. This is just like art that they have in here for <laughs> somebody sent in or something. It's awesome. This is just an ad or something. Got the Konami handheld things. Bubble Ghost. I think I streamed that once. The Game Train. All aboard the Game Train. Road Blasters. Paperboy. What did they say about Paperboy? Pro oh, they got Paperboy Pro Tip. Here you go. It just... If just finishing the game is your goal, make perfect deliveries to every house... Who the fuck wrote this? <laughs> also, like, the, the pictures, they didn't have, like, the capture program, like, you know, the way it is now. So, they you can tell that they had to take, like, the picture off the screen with a polar. I should show it. So, like, look at the, look at the picture. It's, like, it's hard to show. It's, like, you can kind of tell that... 
So they had to take a picture off the screen back then. So, okay, they have the box for all these games, right? Dracula's Curse, Pac-Man, Clax, TMN2, the arcade game, right? And they're showing all these box covers. Look at the one for The Simpsons, right? So it's just all box covers, right? It's all good, just box covers, no big deal. But then we get down to The Simpsons, and there's, this, is the box, this is the box cover for The Simpsons? I guess they didn't have a picture of the box cover. I guess. Oh, here you go. Here's the game. I beat this game. If you ever want to kill your fingers, here's the Silver Surfer. Awesome music on that game, though. Starship Hector. Toys R Us. Oh, God, you got Toys R Us. How 80s is this? 80s, early 90s. Look at this ad. And Toys R Us. That's great. This is amazing. Amazing! What a fantastic magazine. Who brought this up? I was supposed to be doing an Atari stream here, and you totally distracted me with the magazines. Nightmare on Elm Street. Add for Nightmare on Elm Street. I beat that game too. Just by that was one of those ones where when I was fighting Freddy, it was like my last hit. That was crazy. That's a really hard game. Pipe Dream. Eh. Oh, Palamedes. Yo, I like Palamedes. They got an ad for Palamedes. See, this right here, this is how you make a video game magazine. This is what I want to say. If you don't have a crazy ass ad like that for Palamedes, get out of here. <laughs> and then, there you go. The laser scope thing. That's what's called. Yeah, laser scope. Konami laser scope. Nothing's a piece of crap. All right, anyway, so the point of this is we were playing Space Invaders modes. Modes of Space Invaders is what I'm doing today. You like this You like this concept for a stream? Something wrong with me. All right, let's get back to what we're doing. So I'm doing modes of Space Invaders. So I went through the modes, though. And so basically, there are 112 modes to Space Invaders. But most of them are multiplayer, so I, I had to like do this again one day. I didn't realize that, that so many of them would be multiplayer. I knew some of them were, but I didn't realize like the majority of them are multiplayer ones. So there are, as far as solo goes, there's 16 different solo modes that you can do in this Atari 2600 Space Invaders, and I tried them out, and they're all... I would say, like, some, I don't know, they're good for, like, getting your skill up, because they're so hard. And then it's like, like that's how I'm using it. Like, go to, go to some of the really difficult ones, try to survive for a while, and then it's like, you'll be really zoned in, and the game will be like really difficult. And then you drop back to, to the regular game, and then it doesn't seem quite as bad. So I'm using it as a tactic. I'm not gonna get that. And I wonder how much that guy is, like a thousand. for the UFO orb. If I ever hit it, we'll see. So far, my high today is 5,000. Uh, 5,255. 
So far. But we have another 30 hours to go, so... I'm sure I'll be able to top it within the next 30 hours. I'll be uh, doing uh, 15 hours of invisible space invaders today. So pretty much there'll be nothing on the screen. But I'll be making commentary the entire time. That's right. And believe it or not, we're already at our um, 54 right now. I think you might have missed the, the beginning uh, 53 hours of the stream. I feel like I'm holding up remarkably well considering the amount of hours I've been streaming. Uptime says otherwise. Oh, the website is glitched. Yeah, we've, uh, I was talking about that 25 hours ago. Yeah, oh yeah, the website got glitched out, so if that, if that uh, uh, uptime doesn't look right, it's just a, one of those uh, glitches. That's what it is. What am I supposed to say playing Space Invaders? interruption hours ago. And you see, this guy's backing me up on it. Thank you. I like that. They're backing me up. That's right. There's that whole interruption. And, uh, I remember, oh, I remember when that interruption happened, happened and then the time code changed. That's right. Nice. Uh, uh, Do we even know what that was worth? Because the score wasn't even on the screen. I don't like that the score like disappears half the time. Talk about the Reese Company. Later on in the show, Jack gets like a restaurant. Later on in Three's Company, Jack gets a restaurant, and then he's got some like annoying like, boss, and I don't like those episodes. I, li I like like the earlier stuff. I'm, I'm a much bigger fan of uh, the earlier episodes. That goes that that the go that was the uh, you know season like one through four. Boy, that's the golden era of Freeze Company. Those later episodes when they brought in the whole restaurant. Man, I didn't like that. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I'm so angry about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna complain every day on social media about it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet at Joyce DeWitt and all, and all those people, and tell them how I don't like those later season episodes that they did in like the 1970s. Because I'm sure that's what they're looking to do in their twilight years is hear all about the later Freeze Company episodes. They want some they want some guy that they never met whose opinion doesn't matter to harass them every day. And and 
out. And then I'm gonna give specific episode numbers. I'm gonna go through them. And I'm gonna be like, hey. In episode 107, Joyce DeWitt, Janet was wearing a navy blue blouse. And I don't like how she looks in that navy blue blouse. So what do you got to say about that? So that's Janet. Yes, that would be Janet. I'm glad that you're following along. I'm resetting this. <laughs> Three is a crowd. Oh God. Stay tuned, yeah, I've seen, yes. I haven't seen it since the 90s, but yeah, I saw it. And like Problem Child and all those. Stay tuned, boy, I haven't thought about that in, <laughs> probably since the 90s, but uh, yeah, I mean, I saw it back then. I don't really remember you know it's mo a movie I've seen like 10 million times I think but I can I can never seem to like really remember it very well is that that one with uh it's John Candy and it's uh, Dan Aykroyd and they're all like in makeup and they're sitting around a table. I think even Chevy Chase might be in it. Is it like nothing but trouble? Is the name of it, I think? I, I swear to God, I must have seen that movie like 20 times or something and I, like, I can't, I can never really remember what happens really in that movie. All I can do is picture Dan Aykroyd in that awful makeup. That like old man makeup. That's like all that's all I can think of. It's like it just dominates my thoughts on that movie. It's like so grotesque. This went on. This is years and years and years ago. This went on for like a while. Come to find out, you like actually kept the cheese log. Like as a fucking god damn it. He has a notebook. But he keeps. And I guess he asks people. You know, meet somebody at a restaurant or something. Hey, what kind of cheese do you like? And they're like, I don't know, uh, cheddar. He's like, okay, I'm gonna put that down in my in my cheese log. 
I'd, I'd love to. I would love to leap through this guy's cheese log, especially in 2023, just to see how far the cheese log has come. Like to check up on the cheese log. See what the status is. Zelda's dad likes monster cheese. All right, that's my entry for today. Oh, the thing I forgot to mention to you guys though about the guy, the cheese log guy. Um, that that guy is me. I have the I have the cheese log. I don't know if I ever mentioned that part of the story. You can never have it. It's like the diary in uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. You have to protect it and keep it away. That's what I do. Keep it locked away. It's very important to me. Is, is this good Space Invaders commentary, guys? I can tell you another, a couple things about the cheese log if you'd like. Commentary should really just be. That would be much better. Fuck! yet. So let me pay attention to that UFO thing, and I want, I want to know how many points that camp thing's worth. They would just keep the score on screen. Somebody said 100. Is it 100 points? Motherfuck, really? I, pff, come on, I can't... <sighs> that happened so fast. They start starting so low. There you go. Maybe this will be the round. Come on, let, let's have this be the round. right now in retro.
Mario 1. Okay. Doom. I mean, I like those. <laughs> A lot of people glue and logs together. Well, they shouldn't be in retro category. They're playing that. Mega Man 5 on Game Boy. Oh, shit. I streamed that. Uh, like, not too long ago. That, that game's great. That's a good choice for a stream. If that's true. Yeah, that's a great... Everybody should play that game. The Mega Man 5 on Game Boy. It's a really good one. That Donkey Kong Game Boy game is awesome too. There we go. And the rest are just bots that are just waiting to put some kind of scam <laughs> post into the chat. Something to scam. Free giveaway. Let me tell you something about this. You ever see any free giveaway? Now, I'm not giving away shit. Just in case you happen to be one of those real people that are in here. But I'm not giving away anything. So if you ever see some of that shit... Oh, it looks like Mike's giving away a PlayStation 5. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not giving away a goddamn thing. You see, I didn't make it. No, I gotta follow my rules. Buy your mixtape? No. You're a bot. <laughs> Fuck. Goddamn it, I deserve that. I got no idea how streams are recommended to me by Twitch. What is this? Twitch recommends you streams? Don't worry about it. Just stream. Um, just watch my streams. Show arcade stick. I'm not using. I'm using a Genesis controller. It's a Atari 2600. Can you give me your Elvis collection? No.
show the stick anyway. It's really big and heavy. My stick here. There you go. Okay. I have it down. Okay. The new one? I didn't get the new one yet. I just ordered it. Maybe in like a couple weeks. How about that though? You knew about that. That means you listened to me. Hey, ah, I caught you. You listened to something I said. I knew that would happen eventually. Boy, this is the first time it's been. I've been streaming for like seven years, guys. Some I caught somebody. They listened to something I said. Ah, ha, ha. You're not supposed to do that, you know, right? I knew that would happen eventually. I had thought to myself, if I just keep streaming long enough, eventually somebody will actually pay attention to something that I said. And it finally happened. How about that? So exciting. No, you, nope. What did I say? 2,000 points. 2,000 points. No death until 2,000. Cause I gotta get further. I'm never gonna get further if I don't. Joining, I am playing Space Invaders Chode Mode. What the fuck? I didn't even see that. What? Come on. Somebody should clip that. I don't know how I died there. Bull crap. I know that a bullet hit me. I'm just saying, like, I didn't see the bullet hit me. I think it's probably one of those alien bullets hit you there, Mike. That's probably what happened. Okay, 
now. There you go, I made it to 2000. You're not telling me if it's on show. Was he doing this? Wait a second. Was he doing this? Because this is a different ball game. If you're doing this. Let's see how you're doing this. Two eleven, huh? This guy was. This guy was. Switch that like mid game. Showed mode. I keep trying to read the chat. Man, it's like it drives me crazy to not have um, a pause so I can look over because the rounds go on like a long time. And even the in between, that's why like Super Mario Brothers is like a pretty friendly stream game. You get to the flag at the end, he walks into the castle, and then I can like actually look over and like read something. This is not.
What the hell? Get over there, go, go, go. I know it's a different mode. Run, 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 run. I finally got more serious with this, huh? Takes me a while to get into that zone. The bone zone. What is wrong? The world may never know. Did I get it? Nope.
Okay, 87. Excited and it screwed me. No! No! Everything all fell at once. It all fell at once. All right, I need a break for a minute. <laughs> yeah! ah! <laughs> I'll be right back.
Let's see what we got. I got. I grabbed another magazine. You want to see this one? We got. Uh, the hell do we got now? What a mess! Isn't this just a mess? <laughs> I would have it no other way. Electronics Gaming Monthly. Who? Oh, look who it is! It's all the Star Trek people. But what do you see there? Besides, forget about. Forget. Don't worry about William Shatner or Leonard Nimoy or. James Doohan or George Takei or Nichelle Nichols or DeForest Kelly. Don't worry about them. Worry about what it says here. Zelda 3. Zelda 3. It says Zelda 3. Of course. Let's see what they have to say about Zelda 3. I like that they don't call it Link to the Past, but Zelda 3. All right, what do we got here? There's a, there's, a, there's a lot. I'm not gonna go through everything, but let's take a look at a few things. Troubleshooter. Stormlord? Okay, there's Stormlord for, oh God, this thing. Stormlord for Genesis? Dude, I don't know Stormlord. Stormlord, like I should play that, don't you think? Let's see, what does that look like? $10,000 Stormlord Nightmare. Get the highest score by January 31st, 1992 and you can win. Oh, I'm a little late. I wanted to do this Stormlord uh, thing and get 10,000 bucks, but seems like I'm, I'm a little late. All right, well, geez. Regardless, I could play. I'll hold my own Stormlord competition right here on Twitch. How about that? I want to play Stormlord. Whoa. I thought this was like Altered Beast for a second. This is, wait. Beast Wrestler? Look at that. It made me think of the thing from Altered Beast is Beast Wrestler. Be they're beasts wrestling. <laughs> totally not what I thought it was when I first looked at it. Let's see. Have I played Sperm Lord? Oh, I play Sperm Lord every night. That is an excellent game. Ease three. <laughs> Computer game review. And 16-bit entertainment, the complete source of computer and 16-bit gaming. Introducing Computer Game Review, the leading magazine of computer and 16-bit gaming. Not matter what computer or console you own, computer not matter. Shouldn't it say it doesn't matter? Wow. They're trying to sell a game magazine and it says... <laughs> the grammar is like shit. Not matter. Not matter what computer game console you own, computer game review cover all in brilliant full color from start to end. Yeah, well, I want that magazine now. Computer game review deliver very latest news on great playing sports Software available for your Amiga, Apple, 16-bit, and your machines. 
each get issue loaded with multiple person reviews show you difference what hot and what not also well maps strategy and it put you ahead of the game <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. That's what I want. I want computer game review. Computer game review. I'm not making that up, by the way. I want you to see this. Look, you have to see this text. Not matter what computer or console you own. Not matter what you own. You probably think I'm making this shit up. I'm not making it up. Like, this is what this shit says. <laughs> The Terminator. I am the Terminator. D Force. <laughs> Mega CD, Mega Drive. You want to see D Force? Let me show you the D Force. Get the D Force. Seek and destroy. D Force. Ooh, move over. Wait, what? What the fuck is all this? Oh, it's a oh, it's a John Madden foldout, like ESPN or something. Okay, Uncharted Waters. Low, hey, low, low three. You got a big low, low three ad. It's pretty cool. Man, why isn't shit like this anymore? This is the best. I don't need to do anything. All I need is these magazines. I can just sit and look at these magazines all day. This is just great. You know, I do all like, all these streams, and some days I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to stream. I just look through these magazines, and I'm like, I, I have 10 million ideas for streams. I know what to play. I'm going to play Streets of Rage. Why not? There you go. That's what I should play. I'm going to play Devilish. I don't know that. Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, I'm not gonna play Sonic, but you should probably see this art of Sonic. It's pretty kind of cool. <laughs> Win big with EGM. Yeah, 15. Oh, that's Wonder Boy. Oh, I, I gotta do. I did the one of the Wonder Boy things once. I know I gotta play the other Wonder Boy games. I'll get to it someday. The Wonder Boy. It's like Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap. And what's the good one? Like the Genesis one? Like that one? It's like the fourth one, I think, on Genesis, right? I'll do, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Wizards and Warriors 3. Game action replay. I think that's rare now. When when Darth Vader was actually back when Darth Vader like meant something, you know, when Darth Vader was really Darth Vader before the before the dark times. Remember, remember when Darth Vader was actually cool. Forty years ago. <laughs> Contra, Contra 4. I like how they call it Contra 4. Yeah, this looks awesome. I love that. If you, by the way, if you never saw my stream where I did uh, Contra Alien Wars on Super Nintendo on hard with like three lives, go watch that because that's a stream you should actually watch. Don't watch this stream. This is a terrible stream. <laughs> go watch that stream. That was a much better stream. Okay, oh, that's right, Zelda 3. Here we go. We got Zelda 3 stuff. That was a weird drawing of Link. What the hell? <laughs> I don't think I've seen that particular art before. Are these made for this? These are... What? Yo. Oh, I'm gonna have to make... Put... You gotta see this. There's like art for this. Look at this art. Zelda 3, A Link to the Past. Literally says Zelda 3, A Link to the Past. That is funny as hell. Okay, I gotta keep this out. <laughs> okay, anyway, all right, let's get back to the game here. Holy crap, that's funny. 
Anyway, I got, I'm just screwing around with Space Invaders if you're joining. That's what I'm doing tonight. Add back Mario Paint track, Mysterious, to your break music. Uh, I'll take a note. Hang on, because I, I will forget. One second. I put that on there. All right. Um, let's go. So uh, I got, what did I get? Oh, not, it says it right there. 9,625 points. So let's try this again. See if I can do any better. That was a good bit of music. Yeah. I don't know. We switched things up. So I haven't switched the music in a while. I need to do that again. So try to put that on Revenge on it or something, so I don't know. Maybe I'll check it out. And and not the remake of Yars Revenge, not the Yars Recharge thing, but like a different one is on there, I guess. Uncheck 
the box in the poll. So like right now, if I made a poll, I have to uncheck the box. So sometimes, like, and I don't do polls that often, but every, you know, once in a while, we'll do a poll here, right? And then it's like, okay, I'll make a poll about whatever, some game I'm playing, right? And then I go to make the poll, and then I don't, I don't remember to uncheck the box. So, and then now you have a bullshit poll. So if they would just make it to where, you, if I clicked that and it stayed permanent, then fine, but that's not how it is. I have to like manually like remember that. I'm not gonna remember that. It should be like I, sh I click it and it just stays that way forever. Like a setting, but it's, it, that's not how it is. It's like stupid as shit. There's always some shit. At least some bullshit. interested but I am I'm really interested in that so thank you for letting me know at least I, 
can't blame you either. That Howard. Ooh. That's that 87 year old that lives a few houses down, right? The one that can't get out of the bed. I can understand why you uh, beat off to that. It makes a lot of sense to me. That curly old man beard. Can't get enough of that. It's almost a little like a Moses. Somebody, somebody's got to keep track then. Thanks for doing the prediction thing. All right, it's up to you guys to keep track. I'm gonna forget then. All right. That sucks that it rolls over. So this is 11. Wouldn't it be nice if once in a while it showed the actual score? That would be too advanced. Atari can't do that. I can't show you the actual score. Bam! So that's 12. Got it. 
No, oh well, my God, I thought I was going to get hit. Got ourselves a real round space invaders here. Can I make it to 20? Maybe. Ooh. Almost died. Damn it.
profile again. Unidentified flying object. shooting too much of the other things. <sighs> I had that like thought to read the chat and then I'm like lost my focus kind of for a second because you gotta like just take out those bottom rows. Come on. Well, that was 24, 415. I felt like I could have went a lot longer if I would have done that. Oh well. Anyway, 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 that's Space Invaders. <laughs> that was, I've been doing this for four hours. Oh my god. All right, that's enough. That was Space Invaders, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back another time with more video games. Let me know in the comments and on YouTube and all that good stuff what you want to see me play later if you happen to be watching this on YouTube. Starring Harrison Ford. What's starring Harrison Ford? Did you know that Mike has asteroids? He can't sit on the toilet most days. But um bump. Good job. Good joke. Did you read that off of a popsicle stick? Play Heroes of Might and Magic? I'd love to. Um, but it ruins my uh, carpal tunnel with the mouse. like and subscribe nah they can do what they want they don't have to if they don't want to that's like what, what youtubers say though at the end of videos right be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell you don't have to, you do whatever you want I don't know how about like instead of that I don't know go watch a good movie or something <laughs> like go play go play a video game yourself or I don't know go masturbate whatever you want to do Smash the like button? No. I mean, if you want to like it, if you do like it, but I guess. Does that like button even do anything for anybody? 
I guess you could like it. If you really like it, then go ahead and hit it. But it doesn't really matter. If you like Diablo, there's another one to play with a co-op of controller. Divinity Original? What's that on? I'll write that. Is that PC? Uh, where is my thing to write that down? PC. Okay. He writes with a pen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you used to have this on Atari 2600. That's what I was doing. This is the Atari 2600 version. You want another game? You guys want to see the Mr. Do on here? What else do we got on here? I was going to end, but we can play like one more thing real quick. Um... Sure, okay. Let's see. Is that on here? Better be on here. Oh, it is on here. Mr. Do. You guys know me and Mr. Do. Well, this is the crappy, like, Atari version of it. Look how, like, primitive this is compared to the arcade. Give me my ball back. Uh oh. No, come back. Oh my god. So I could end it by getting the cherries. So I ended it that way. Next level. I wonder if I did spell out extra in this version, what would happen, like, because in the arcade game, uh-oh. In the arcade game, a whole bonus screen thing comes up. Here. Boom. So I got that A right there, actually. Now, this makes me actually really want to try to spell out, spell out extra. Here's the E. Get it. Alright, we got the E, I guess. Will my ball come back ever? There it is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yep. Now do the letter stay. They do stay, so that's good. changing the monster! Am I dead? <sighs> what? Oh, because the monster ate the cherry. I think it ended.
They're ruining everything. Ooh, I got the tea. I got the cherry. All right. I need the R and the X. It probably just gives me the extra life and does, like nothing happens. It'd be pretty awesome if there was some kind of cutscene though. I, d I highly, highly, highly doubt it. You know what, if I just do these, it'll end. When is that letter coming? It's on the X right now. Kill me. Oh god, and that's it, right? Oh, no, I have another, wow. Kill him! <laughs> There's the fucking, oh, oh, oh I, I can get it, I can get it. Yeah! I only need the X. Why well, I might actually do this. Come on, kill him. Da, 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 Oh. No! Don't die. No! I almost spelled it out. I'm so upset. Now we have to do it again. Wait a second, can I like... Hang on a second. Ah, there we go. Pro streamer. Okay, here we go. Change the box to Mr. J. I just did. Pro streamer strats right there, changing that box cover. Damn it. Oh, no. I gotta, I gotta start better. Sears Video Arcade. Yeah, man. You buy your video games at Sears. Where the hell else are you gonna buy your games? Se Sears Roebuck is the number one place to go get your video games in 1983 I don't know where you've been buying your video games what some of that like switch online store crap you don't want that you want Sears fucking come on I know that I buy all my video games at Sears Always, always have, always will. They'll never go out of business. They'll never struggle. Gonna go in and get myself some craft, craftsman tools. Maybe some games on DOS. So on some floppy disks. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be a good time. Mm, I need that thing back. Oh, let me turn into it. Nope, 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 nope. How did I do so well the other time? This is all just because I want to see if a cutscene happens, which there's zero chance of that happening. <laughs> there's absolutely no way. Then again, I think like Junior Pac-Man does like little cutscenes and like Miss Pac-Man does like kind of like their Atari versions of it, so like maybe. Maybe. Yo, I got the letter. Oh, 
fucking thing appeared on top of me. But now, see, now I have a letter, so I gotta keep going. It's because I was right in the middle of the screen is why it appeared on top of me. Can't be hanging out there. There's the T. Dude, got it. All right, we got X and T. That person turned around at the right time. I got really lucky. Oh God, hit him. Yeah, EXT. Yes. Okay, the monster ate that last cherry. Sea monster ate my ice cream. Fucking shit. <sighs> Give me my balls. I'm just hang out here until my balls come back. Where are my balls? Piece of shit. See, it could end like that, but he's coming. Fuck it. Do, 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 do. R A. I need. I shot the fucking ball. What happened? Come on. There. Oh god. There's the I. Yes. Just the R. Come on. So we're so close. Appearing on top of me and uh, have another life, please. Oh my god! God damn it! Is it D for Mr. Do? D for Do. T for Two. Somebody help me, please. There it is. All right, we got the A. Ooh. And the X. Oh my god, oh my god, what do I do, what do I do? Maybe I can do this, will it work? No. Bring me the ball back. Too late. I killed him. All that work. What is at the bottom in the green? You see the green bar at the bottom? There's four little things, four little white things. Um, they, that looks like... <laughs> Why? Why is that there? I just noticed that. What are those little white things? Alright. 
They're Mike's babies. That's right. If you ever wanted to see my babies, look at the bottom left. They would be in Mr. Do. Hanging out. They're just hanging out. Get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Die! Ah! Only need the X, I think, right? Is this true? Do, 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 do. Think so. Oh no, I need the E as well. Damn it. There's the X. Killer! Come on. something in Space Invaders. I don't even remember what I was doing in Space Invaders now. Did something. Got a score or something. Oh, I got like 24,000, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> but I've totally forgotten about that now. See, that's what, I'm, what I always try to say to you guys. That mattered to me in the moment when I got that uh, 24,000. That was a big deal. I was like, oh yeah, 24,000 Space Invaders, the Atari 2600, that's great. I was happy. Now, I don't even remember that it happened. That's why I say you, gotta, you should try to be in my streams live. Because... That's when it matters. <laughs> that's when it matters to me. Like, when it's actually happening, like, live. Believe it or not, it's like Mike Matei live, right? The whole that whole live part actually really does mean something. <laughs> I'm just realizing this. Did you know that these streams are live, by the way? <laughs> Holy crap! I just realized this is happening live. Wow, it's crazy. insane like they're the smartest fucking things ever it's like not even possible the shit they're pulling off Like, 
the, the fucking guy is a hundred times faster than me. Like, what am I gonna fucking do? Now I have one fucking sperm left. I, I started with all this fucking sperm. Now there's one fucking measly. I, what did I have? Fucking. I don't even know. What do they start? What do you start with? Like fucking ten? You have ten sperm. Now I have one fucking sperm. Now I'm almost completely drained. I mean, seriously, like, that's what this is. Dude, this is a mess. Start it over. I'm not happy with this run. Prolong this a little more. That's what I want to do. There's my egg. There's. Oh, you fucking spawned on top of me! I'm looking at the A! I'm looking right into that A. There's the take. There's the take. Fuck! Mm. Get shit. I didn't get shit. I got nothing. I ain't losing any sperm now. Right, so right now our balls are full. Alright. Bring back the ball, bring back the ball, bring back the ball, bring back the ball. Great. Last longer and longer and longer every time. There, there it is. Of course, we got this other guy chasing me now, you know. Thank you, God. That's the kind of shit I need. is right there. Oh god, oh god. Get him! Get him! Did I get it? I think I got it. Oh, I think I got it with that. And I'm fucking still my fucking sperm's full.
god, oh my god. Bring me the ball, bring me the ball. I, oh, I shot the last guy. I'm, I still have all fucking full balls, full sperm balls. There's the R. That's like, dude, this might be the time. Isn't that the one I need? Oh my god. Turn into the X again. What was it? The X for like one split second? Come on. Faster. Dude. What am I gonna like what am I they're fucking double teaming me now? Fucking A. God, come on. If I can make this happen. Come on. <laughs> come on. Alright, at least I did that. Oh my god, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ooh, there's the R. Oh ho! I got the R too. Okay. Good. There is a good round. See, 
I, I don't know what it is. Like, if you just, like, wait long enough, then eventually the letter, like, happens. Like, I don't really get how... Okay, there's the say. And then it'll change to a fucking monster if you're like not fast enough. Oop, okay, got it. Get her! Come on! Stupid apple! That'd be great to get that. Apple, come back, letter, come back, ball, 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 come back, come back. Oh, it just came, fuck! <sighs> it's never gonna turn into a letter now. I, still, I need two more, E and X. It's so hard to do this. I just fucked that up. Great. It's all gonna be like a letdown anyway. It's not gonna fucking show shit. end of it. Or so I thought. Oh, great. Fucking ball goes all over the place. Yeah. Okay. I'm fucking gonna see this happen. I don't know what more I can do. the do button. Oh yeah, I gotta press that do button, right? Give me the ball back. Alright. There's one. And then we're gonna get to the last letter, and then it won't give me what I want. What happens every fucking time. Ah! Smashing me with fruit! Spell out the word extra. That's all. In the Atari 2600 version of it. I just want to see it happen one time and then I can end this stupid stream. I just have a very. I thought what would be a very minor goal, but apparently. There's a T. Bring it back. Bring the fucking ball back. I'm getting so fucked. I, I, oh, wait until I turn the corner to give me the ball back, of course. That's when like, I slow down and then the guy can catch up with me and kill me before I have the chance to launch the fucking ball at his asshole! Do 
Oh, you like how my ball completely fucking misses everything? And now the fucking chance to get the letter is gone. That's great. Great. Here's the fucking E. Can I have it? Nope, because he turned into the fucking monster in like two seconds. Literally give me no time to do anything. anymore because you know you're getting close to me you know I have the ball so be sure to kill be sure to kill me be sure to just kill me thing I could do for my mental health is to do this. I'm going to keep doing it. Sperms. You see this shit? They won't let me fucking handle my balls enough. You throw, you throw the ball, then it's like gone like forever. And like, you need it often to be able to kill all these things, you know? I mean, sure, you can use the apples, but like. I mean, fucking really? You need to be able to handle the, your fucking balls. Seriously. Because what are you going to fucking do without it? Die. There it is. Come on. You better work. Work. All right. We got the R. Just as I had hoped. It's the A. All right, good start now. Finally, come on, come on. Let this, let me just do this. Imagine if I could go hit that X. 
You think that could fucking happen? You think that shit could happen? Letters, huh? letter came at the same time. I see the letter on the fucking side of the screen. I'm like, oh, there's the T over there. Oh, oh, sorry. A monster spawned on top of me. Guess I'm dead. And now the fucking sperm is almost out. What's, what's the fucking, what's a clown gonna do when he has no sperm? Nice ball. Nice fucking ball. Oh, oh wow, that actually worked. Come on. Oh, man. This is like, this is not happening. Nope. Is it like on a certain... There it is. Okay. There's one. Get away from me. Save me. Thank you. Good. Okay, there's the axe. If I can get it. Ball. Ball. Cool down. End. End. I got I think I got it. Okay. Good. Let's get a nice start. Dude, I threw the fucking ball. Come on. Like fucking instantaneous shit. I just gotta get lucky. Swear.
letter or something. It's over. I'll finish the game out, but that was it. There, so there is like a little cutscene. It's not. It's not very impressive, but there is a cutscene. That's all I wanted to know. How about that? Wow! Isn't this amazing? Wasn't that worth it? Wasn't that just? Worth it? I think so. I'd like to say. Cutscene. See, those are the kind of cutscenes in video games that I like. It lasted all of uh, one second. And it was and then it was over. Nobody spoke. It informed me of what I needed to know, which was I got an extra life, and then we moved on with the game. Perfect cutscene. Perfect cutscene for a perfect video game. Mr. Do. For the Atari 2600. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Now I have to leave. I was going to leave a while ago, so that was an extra 45 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed Space Invaders and Mr. Do. <laughs> and magazines. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Bye.